Well, it's another three points, but it's another heart stopper, <laughs> isn't it, here as well at the SMH? Yeah, yeah. I was getting the interview ready at 2 they all talk about speed bumps and all that I bang on about for. That's not speed bump, that's a roadblock going on. So, uh, yeah, <coughs> we did it early in the season against Hartlepool and the crowd and I felt, especially when we went 2-1, you know, and, and, and the gaffer made the point in there that uh, uh, character the players show, regardless of mistakes and, and things that, that happened during the game, which did. Uh, they really are showing such character and going behind in front of nearly 9,000 of the virtual home supporters, aren't they? Uh, so the players have a lot of credit for that, for that comeback today. Uh, obviously we're disappointed with the, with the two goals, having all the ball and then one ball, one nil. And then obviously poor old Freck slips, sadly, in the head and whether it went over the line or not, I don't know. So that's disappointing because as much as we scored a set piece, we're disappointed to concede one no matter how it came. And then you're looking, uh, you're looking at the boys going, what you got? And um, when we got that goal then, and you just fancy this, and at, at two all, you were then hoping, yes, can we go on and win it, but also let's be careful of their counter-attacks, their threats, which are uh, obviously with Kelly and Beck, a real handful for this division. Uh, and to see the game out with the maturity and professionalism we did was a credit to the players. So, yeah, it makes the, the New Year's Day uh, beers a bit tasty, didn't they, for all those supporters, because at one point it, was, uh, it didn't look great, did it? So, a uh, fair play to everyone to sticking together. I think that's the the phrase today, so they want to start together. You could see from Boxing Day and today why Solihull are in the top six, can't you, as well? And it must show, though, that your side, and you touched on it earlier there with your response about the character of this side, and it's been like that for most of the season, hasn't it? It has, yeah, even if you go back to games at Aldershot and, and Fowl, where we almost gave away, you know, big goal leads, we still showed that character to, to get the win. You know, we, obviously, like I said, the first season, we were giving away goals in last minutes that and losing. Uh, we, we might have given away a few sloppy goals this season, but we've still gone on to win the games. Uh, and it does make it exciting, and I say that tongue-in-cheek because we don't plan to, to keep it like that. We, we would love it to be a nice 3-0 or a nice 1-0. But when you're 2-0 down, you think the worst-case scenario is we leave the pitch at 2-0, and the best is, is, is a victory. And uh, luckily for us and all the supporters, it was the latter. Trying to work out all these these goals at home as well. I think that's 50 now in all competitions as well. So, just were really ruthless when they need to be. Yeah, yeah, they are. And decision making is key. Uh, obviously, the gaffer's big on them being patient and deciding when to when to cross, when to shoot, when to pass, etc. And I thought the decision making got better actually at 2-0. Uh, I think the balls in the box today weren't great for us. I think they got a lot of first contacts from open play and set plays. Uh, and then when it counts, uh, Coco pops up. Been working on him trying to come across and, and get across that near post. He's a big lad and he should he should win a few more headers. So Ryan was in the right place at the right time. But yeah, loads of things to look back on and improve on, but yeah, let's enjoy the win first and foremost. Did you sense it when the first goal went in from Tom Naylor? It's tough, isn't it? Because we've been in, we've been in the, uh, the other camp where it's 2-1 and you're away from home and you see it out for 2-1. You might even get a counter-attack and make it 3-1. So you don't automatically think, here we go, at least we're going to get it to point. And even at all, like I say, you don't automatically think, We've drawn. You think actually they can go up the other end or get a corner and big bet scores, and they win 3-2 in the last minutes. All the thousands of uh, possibilities run through your head. Uh, and I say, fortunately for us, it was all it was all positive outcomes. But yeah, loads to take from it. I say, still a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of football yet to be played. A lot of lessons to be learnt. So we got a, a break from the league action this week, and it's really nice to go into that Watford game. Uh, after after three points because we would have enjoyed it regardless and gone down and done it properly if, we, if we'd lost today but to win I think it allows the supporters to go there more than anyone and enjoy the day. So that question of the second goal maybe wasn't a corner first and foremost? Has anything been discussed at all? Uh, yeah we watched it but I think it was a corner. I think I think Frex actually made quite a good little block and it, and it skimmed around a corner so I think it was a corner. Uh, I think it's a tough one. I haven't obviously seen that angle and it might be blatantly over the line from us watching it back where it was. Uh, I think it's a tough call for the linesman unless it's blatant. You know, if it's not blatant, I think if in doubt, leave it out. Uh, but if it's blatant, then fair play is given the right decision. So, like I always say, it's easy to be less bitter about things when you've won. Uh, the result didn't lie solely our way, and it definitely didn't lie today. Players must be jumping at the bit really to get ready for Watford on on Saturday, which is going to be a huge occasion. Back mm. like four thousand yeah. Chesterfield supporters, and the, the dressing room must be buoyant after all that, especially after the last couple of years as well. Really, the FA Cup runs have had. Yeah, it's a good feeling, but it, even in there, it's all very calm. You know, it's hard to explain, really. Uh, which, like I said, well, that comes from the gaffer, because he doesn't get carried away after a result, uh, win, lose or draw, and it keeps the players and us as staff all grounded. Uh, and yeah, everyone was in there and I high five and a few banter about, oh, we have to do it the hard way and laughing and joking, but it really isn't silly celebrations, because those those players, like I say, from the gaffer, it's, it stems from, we know this is 
this is this is going to be a long, long season. We've got a lot of football yet to go. A lot of teams. You think Bromley and Andy Woodman and Barton Dean Brennan are going to look at that result today and think, oh, we'll stop trying it. They're going to keep going. We've got to play both those teams away from home. Obviously, we're in a really good position for the football club. It's great after disappointment with the away game and all those supporters that travelled that they can enjoy a win. Now it's January, of course. Um, looking at uh, some lone players that have been out, <laughs> Bailey Clements played for Eastleigh today. Is he coming back at all to the football club, or is Bailey Hobson or yeah. Lawrence Maguire, who's, I know he was suspended today? But... Yeah, I think, I think Liam asked me a while ago, and those discussions will take place this week. Uh, we're obviously giving Watford our full attention, but without the league fixture, it probably allows us, Paul, to address those issues uh, more so than if we had a game Tuesday or Saturday. Um, obviously moving on to, to Watford in itself, but I mean, like you said, it's a bit calm atmosphere, but everything will be building towards it and everybody's going to be focusing on, on Chesterfield going to an EFL side uh, again, you know. Yeah, uh, the fact we're taking that many supporters at a time where people are, are spending a lot of money at Christmas and, and all that is, uh, is credit to them, you know. I think obviously it's, it's a long trip, but it's not mega long, so I really hope they can get down there early and enjoy the day because we're certainly going to do that. If we cause an upset, great. But if not, we're certainly going there, pleased more than ever that we've got three points against Solihull today. Thanks.